I'm going to be talking about month 10 of me selling on Amazon, uh, breaking down the sales numbers and talking about the profit and basically what was happening. So with this month, uh, I had five products up selling on Amazon. My first four doing all right, actually running out of stock on a lot of them. And then my fifth product started to really take off and it was actually responsible for over half of the profit of this month. Uh, just a little over $4,000 in profit for this month. So uh, the reason for that basically is that it started getting reviews. It was a really popular product and hardly anyone else was selling it. I did a better job of branding. So basically what my strategy in this niche was to find uh, pe products that other people were already selling and to be do a better job on the packaging and design um, and on the overall like selling on Amazon part. So listing optimization, uh, pay per click, spending a lot of money on that and being pretty aggressive. So that was basically my strategy here. I was still in school, still working, and I think at a, cer a certain point I had to like take three or four or five thousand dollars out of my business to pay for school, which kind of sucked and kind of slowed me down. So that might have been the reason why I ran out of stock and a lot of stuff because I wasn't able to pay for more inventory because cash flow is a difficult part of selling online because Amazon only pays you every two weeks and you're running out of stock and you have to like judge everything with timing. So it just started to become kind of, you know, it got better over time and now my cash flow is like extremely positive, which is great. But you know, for the first almost 12 months, it was a little bit of a headache. So um, let's just hop straight into numbers here, guys. All right, so this is month 10, uh, a total of $13,320 in sales for a profit of $4,083. So this month compared to last month, I actually did um, it's like $16,000 in sales the previous month. Uh, and the profit was only a little bit higher. And that's because with my fifth product really starting to take off uh, with reviews and me increasing the price a little bit and dialing in pay-per-click advertising, my overall margin jumped from 25 to 30%. Uh, and that was 100% 100 responsible for, uh, well, the fifth product being responsible for that. So 759 units sold, steadily selling almost 30 units a day, which is really nice. So, you know, a couple of days um, jumping around and then even breaking out into the 40 units per day. I think that was the best day up until this point. Um, I'd have to go back and look, but selling 20 to 30 units a day for basically $100 profit per day. Uh, over you know five products, so a lot of my first uh, four variations of products was out of were out of stock, um, but still my fifth product started really making up for that. All right, so let's just break down each product here, going in order from the first product. All right, so this is the first product that I was selling, uh, my first product that I launched ten months ago, from from this date, and you know selling all right, five to 10 units a day. Uh, and then I ran out of stock over here for I don't know how long, but you know, $500, $570 in profit, where usually it would be like $1,000 to $1,500 in profit uh, per month. And I do remember playing around with the price. Uh, so basically anywhere from like $18 to $21. And I actually didn't notice uh, like a decrease in conversions with increasing the price. So I jumped it all the way up to like $21 and I still was selling pretty well, if not better, which is interesting. So I guess people, when they buy things online, price is kind of a double-edged sword. So people look at that and they think, oh, it's expensive, but people also think, oh, it's priced higher, therefore it's better quality than some of the other products. So that was one of the strategies I used. Um, for these variations. All right, so this is my second product here. Uh, $610 in profit, 140 units sold. Kind of an average or slightly below average month for this product, uh, making, what is that? Kind of $20 a day on average. Uh, so still in stock, which was good. And I kind of ordered stock based on popularity. So my first product I knew was the most popular. That's why I launched it first. Uh, the second one, slightly less uh, popularity, less sales. So I ordered instead of 500 units, like the first product, I ordered like 350 um, just to kind of test that out and be sure that, you know, I wouldn't be 
uh, you know, wasting a lot of money, having a lot of stock and not being able to sell it. Then my third product kind of had the same demand as this one, but uh, it actually picked up over time, which was interesting. Uh, and then the fourth variation you'll see in a second, um, also out of stock, I knew it had very little demand, so I didn't order very much from that. All right, so this is the third variation here. Um, selling about five units a day and then within almost a little over a week ran out of stock here so 223 dollars profit uh 38 units sold previously i think this was making me between like 600 and 800 dollars uh, but then running out of stock really killed it but even with running out of stock on some of these products uh, the good thing about branching out with variations and adding more products is you can kind of still have stock in other products and not be too worried about you know, if you run out of stock on one product and that's all you have, then you're really in trouble. But if you have five products and like two of them run out of stock, well, you still have three others that are making you money. And so you're able to kind of pick up that cash flow where it's lacking. Um, so pretty terrible month for this just because it ran out of stock. All right, so this is my fourth product, fourth variation. Obviously, being out of stock the entire month, you know, only losing out on like what it was usually doing, like $200 a month in profit. So not a big deal with that. Like I said before, I was focused on launching more products and um, kind of optimizing the, the products that were winning and selling really well for me. All right, so this is the exciting part. This is the fifth product. The one that is really starting to take off here. So $2,751 in profit for 457 units sold. So that made up for over half of my product uh, profit here. So uh, what is this? Like maybe month three of launching this product? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was month two. I can't remember. But selling anywhere between 10 and almost 30 units a day just from this product which was crazy so the price I actually wasn't it wasn't even fully um, at, like at its full price like it is now but even with that a 37% profit margin uh, and a 60% return on investment which is you know way better than all the other products so this product ended up it was um, a lighter and um, cheaper for me to manufacture but I was still able to basically charge almost the same price as my first four variations so the fees were less and the cost of goods ended up uh, costing me less so just overall higher profit margin um, so I think I was still um, optimizing this listing I, I probably still only had like four or five images didn't take it 100% seriously uh, but even with that you know, it was selling really well. So I did a really good job on the packaging designing, which I actually did myself in Photoshop. So once I ordered my first um, kind of batch of packaging for my first product, I basically tweaked it all myself from there. So the second product, I just switched out the background, uh, changed a little bit of the description and the title on the packaging itself, and then sent that to the suppliers, and they took care of everything from there. So I didn't actually have to end up spending any more money designing packaging because I could basically do it myself, which was really cool. So this is the fifth product, um, really starting to take off and accounting for over half of my sales. All right, so after I've seen after seeing this product really take off, I was focused on launching more variations similar to this one, uh, so slightly different uh, color or a different use. And having seen how well this one was doing, that was my main focus. Uh, not so much worrying about my other products that were doing all right, but not really making a lot of money. Um, with this, I knew... Um, that there was a lot more potential and that was what I was working on. So uh, thanks for watching the video guys. If you do like this video and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm making pretty much videos every day, trying to add as much value to you as possible so that I can help you start selling on Amazon.